My name is uh, Danielle Tomlinson and I'm a British wildlife contemporary painter based here in Leicester and I paint in acrylics and spray paints to kind of have like an urban, modern approach to some very kind of traditional subjects. So I think a lot of the time wildlife is painted in a very tradi like traditional portraiture kind of way um, and I wanted to bring some more vibra like vibrancy and life and bring out their characters by kind of using the style that I do. I used to be a swimmer um, and I studied sports science at university. When Covid hit um, I was looking for jobs and there wasn't really wasn't really many jobs going and there also wasn't many jobs that I felt very passionate about applying for so what I did I've always loved art since a child and I literally invested into a marketing course and then within two months I was making a full-time um, living as an artist. I've loved you know painting since a child my mum and dad were like really encouraging on everything I wanted to do if that was sport or art or you know like caring for animals um, so yeah I, I've loved it since a child and um, throughout school it was always sport and art were either side and then when I got to like kind of GCSE levels and A levels I took it as like um, a like, course or you know did that um, but then I never really thought you know it was what's the word I, I never thought it was a career choice so I went to uni and studied sports science um, and did art as a part-time thing so it's always been in my life and I've always loved it um, but yeah then you know one thing to another end. Yeah. so as a child I've loved animals um, so much like my mum, she's a massive animal lover, so is my dad, and I've always been brought up around animals. And I guess my love for wildlife started at home with my pets. Um, my mum used to rescue a lot of cats and dogs, um, so I've been brought up with all sorts really, literally from like a farmyard. Um, and then as I grew, like, grew up, I guess the love for my pets then extended into more exotic species. Um, with my swimming career, I ended up going to South Africa, which was a pretty like life-changing moment for me. And I got to see some like incredible wildlife um, and it stuck with me for life. And I guess, yeah, my love for my pets just kind of evolved into love of wildlife and nature in general. And um, I kind of realized we live in a world that is very um, out of touch with nature at the minute and I think that's kind of the direction that we're going in as well which is a little bit scary for me. So I guess the reason why I paint animals is because not only because I love them and have a passion for them and I think it's the, some of the most beautiful creations in the world, um, I just want to outline kind of the importance of appreciation of wildlife and our natural world because um, I think we get lost a little bit um, with kind of the importance of things. Um, so I'm inspired by lots of things, um, literally everything, um, from it could be walking through the city at night and seeing a fox in the dustbins to like going for a walk at say Bradgate Park or going to South Africa or literally anywhere and even like colours, I could be sitting down at a cafe and I'll see like a pair of colours together and that inspires me to then create an artwork with those colours in because my most important thing is having striking bright artwork in order to draw attention kind of to that. Um, so yeah, that's, I guess that's where all my inspiration comes from, it's just everyday life. I guess what I like about the industry is that it's so kind of crazy and so unique and you never really know what's happening. Um, and also I really like the community we have in Leicester. There's some really, really nice artists and obviously we all work alone. So it's that, I guess that's that community aspect that I really like and it kind of attacks the loneliness of being an artist, is that community. Um, I'd say my biggest achievement is, is having artworks all around the world. Um, that's something that I can't quite grasp yet. Um, and, that, honest, and having like a big list of collectors, I have a lot of collectors that come back and buy again and are really loyal. Um, and probably, probably just, getting as far as I have in two years and I'm just excited to 
see kind of what the future holds for my artwork and seeing what kind of impact I can make as well. So.